Hey, good evening. It's Coach T checking in real quick. Happy Tuesday. I hope everyone had a great and wonderful holiday weekend. I hope that you enjoy your family. I know we all enjoyed the food because we all like the holiday time. That's the main reason. Family and food and fun and friends. So I hope that you enjoyed that time you had with your family. Um, And in spite of whatever it is you may be facing or going through. I don't know why this glare is here. Um... What is you may be going through, then I um, hope that you found the strength and the courage and the motivation to keep going and to keep moving. Um, to look at the memories that you may have had with your family members. Um, just found strength in knowing that they are no longer suffering. They may be in a better place. Um, also, just want to say um, this real quick video tonight. Um, it's been a long couple of weeks for me. So I missed you all on Thursday, but you know, holiday time, family, friends, you got to take the time out, got to, you know, look at what's uh, a priority. Everything is important, but what's a priority? So I hope you enjoyed your family. hope you spent time doing what you love. Um, and I hope that though, for those of you who have a hard time during the holidays, I really would like to encourage you to, you know, not to isolate yourself, not to um, be in a position where that glare is really bothering me. Sorry, not to be in a position where you are, um, you know, allowing isolation to keep you separate from those who love you and those who support you and those who want to help you. You want to make sure I'm sitting in my God daughter's chair. <laughs> you want to make sure that you don't isolate. You want to be around things that give you life, that things that, um, you know, help keep you vibrant and going and moving, you know, and motivated because, it's just all about the mindset. It only takes one, you know, one thought. It takes one moment, one one type of, when I say moment, or one type of movement um, to make you retract or retreat into a place of depression and oppression. And people don't know how real that is, but it's very real. And it's, um, you know, mental illness is real. Um, and it it's real because we um, feed into that energy that emotion we have to counteract that with something good something positive seeking help you know getting um you know checking in with you know uh, our loved ones reaching out down the crisis hotlines different things like that um checking in you know you have to check on other people but also you know hey when we know how we feel a certain way and we have people that we can reach out to we have people that we can talk to we can share with and say hey I'm feeling this way. I'm feeling that way. And that's what you have to do. That's what coaching is all about. That's what counseling is all about. Therapy, you know, um, you know, groups, small groups, you know, group coaching. All those things are very important. They're very vital, um, especially this time of year. People get anxious and we have anxiety. You know, every, life is happening every day, but then we get caught up in the whole the distraction of the holidays and we forget the reason for the season. And then we get caught up in spending money and that we don't have and making decisions and changes and you know, just doing things in a way that's like, oh my God, it's overwhelming. And then we don't know what to do. And then it's kind of like um, we get flustered and frustrated and we kind of shut down and or some of us overindulge, we overspend, and we have to deal with the consequences of our actions later. And that's not always a good look or a good feel. So you want to be mindful of what you're doing. Know that the day is only one day. Um, we want people to be happy, but you got to re remember and look at what makes people happy. What is it that makes us happy? And oftentimes it's not things. I mean, they bring joy to our life and we like what we like and we like, you know, we like nice things, but it is not the things, it's the people. It's who it comes from. It's the thought behind it that makes us more exciting, you know. Um, and if you're dealing with loss of a loved one, you know, you're in my thoughts and prayers as well. Because I, especially if it's your first year without that loved one, I know that feeling. I've been there before. Um, it's weird. It's still weird now, you know, even all these years later. But the first year is very hard. The first of everything because you spend a lot of time reminiscing and remembering and thinking and trying to figure out and Remember how this done is that done. They're trying to relive those moments because you know you won't have them that same exact moment anymore. So, also I just want to let people know that you are not alone. I know oftentimes we feel like we're the only ones that are going through certain situations in life. We're the only ones maybe facing financial challenges or health challenges or career changes or challenges or you know even with the mental state. Um, people, you think that you're the only one going through the thing you're going through, but guess what? You are not. 
you are not the only one dealing with someone who um, is sick or you may be sick or you're not the only one who is dealing with a loved one who is, you know, dealing with a certain situation. People, family members who have addictions and mental health and mental illness, um, mental illness, you know, things with the physical nature or you feeling like you can't get a turnaround, you can't get a breakthrough, you're feeling like, you know, life isn't changing, things aren't moving fast enough. Why can I get a breakthrough? Why won't this change? Why does this keep happening? You're not the only one that has those thoughts. And it doesn't matter what color you are, black, white, red, yellow, blue, green, or brown. We all sometimes are saying, God, like, oh my God, where are you? <laughs> where are you? What are you doing? Like, this is too mysterious for me. I know you heard me say that several times. Lord, this is too mysterious for me. So, you know, and his ways are higher, his thoughts are higher. But one thing you have to get up every day is you have to get up with a made up mind and be determined to make it. I mean, come hell or high water, you got to wake up with the mindset. You know what? Yesterday was this way, but today she'll be different. Yesterday was woo, heavy, but today it's going to be a little lighter. And you just say that every day until it's a little lighter and a little lighter, a little lighter and a little lighter and a little lighter. You know, and some we do we talk about pushing through, and we have to push through. We got to push past our, you know, the thing that want to weigh us down, the thing that want to keep us held back, the things want to keep us in bondage. You got to push through that. But there's certain moments in life where pushing through, you know, is not good. You just have to fall back. And it, you know, I was wanting to come on and talk and share and do, but I wasn't. You know, things were going on around me. It was busy, distracted. So when things are around you are distracting you. The best thing for you to do is to try to stay grounded yourself. So I've been doing a lot of meditating, a lot of praying. You know, I have my own questions. You know, I do I know the path that I'm on or God put me on this path, but still some days like, okay, God, ooh, like for real? Like, okay, come on. Jesus take the wheel and drive fast. Um, because it's like when you think you're at this place of this um the brink of the breakthrough. You know, okay, this is it. The navy's about to break, it's about to be an overflow. About to, and then it's look like something's put the brakes are pumped and things are put a halt to some things and you're like okay wait well, i thought we were on this path of you know moving forward and going forward there's certain momentum but one thing that i've learned is that when things aren't moving as fast as you want them to is because we have to finish finish something you have to complete a process you have to uh wrap up some things in that season in that moment in that lesson um with people places things ideas yourself uh, relationally, you know, maybe spiritually, financially. So, um, you may have to go back and look at some things and say, okay, how can I do this differently? Or am I doing it differently? Because sometimes we think we're doing something different and we're not. We'll just keep making the same mistake or doing the same thing over and over again or going through, the, you know, the same, I don't know, just the same foolishness sometimes. And it doesn't look foolish because we get so caught up in our routine or look, we become familiar with our chaos. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Um, so... But you have to go back and look at things differently. You got to look at yourself differently. What do you need to do differently? Sometimes we think it's other people, but it's us. Um, but then sometimes it's just part of life. It's just part of the process. You just got to go through. The only way out is through. The only way through is through. So you just got to keep pushing and pressing. And I mean, you take a break. You take a time out. You fall back. You reflect. You think. You pray. You meditate. And that's to whatever you believe in. I mean, everybody has their own belief systems, but I believe in God, of course. But source, higher power, being, you know, whatever. But it has to be something higher and greater than you where you are looking to be replenished, restored, redeemed, revived, refilled. Because every day, you know, in this world we are living in, you know, we are constantly giving out. And something is constantly being taken from us. You know, each day is another day closer to our ending versus our beginning. So you want to make sure you use your time wisely. But if you don't be the change you want to see, you're never going to have the change you want to have, period. And that means you're going to have to cut out some people, some places, things, ideas, some habits. you got to create, break one and create one. Um, and then you just got to decide that you don't want to be stuck anymore. Point blank, period. you got to decide that you don't want to be stuck. Don't want to be down. Don't want to be depressed. You don't want to be sad. You don't want to be overwhelmed, frustrated, cuss people out all the time, mad every day, um, just in a bad mood, go to bed mad, wake up mad, all day mad, come home mad, you know, everybody don't want to be around, your kids can't stand you, <laughs> husband and wife is like, oh my God, here she come, you know, nothing makes you happy, that's because there's something going on inside of you, so you want to check yourself before you wreck yourself, um, don't let the holidays overwhelm you, um, listen to your body, you know, I have to listen to my body, 
A lot of things going on in my body right now has to do with the atmosphere. So, like, my sinus pressure, headaches, migraines, tension. It's like, oh, so you have to sit still. You know, my, my, who I am as a person, who I am as a me, wants to keep going and keep moving and getting things done. But, you know, when my body said, hey, chill, you got to chill. So, and, you know, life is going to keep lifing. So, you got to make a decision that you're going to be grounded, anchored. You're going to be still. You're going to, um. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to what you believe. Hold on to your morals and values. You know, don't flip the script on, on your life because situations are the way they are. You know, just figure out what's the best way to start and start fixing what it is. And a lot of times it's mental. A lot of times it's emotional. Got to get your mind right. Got to get your heart right. That's the biggest part about blockages, our hearts and our minds. And you got to get your mouth right. You got to start talking right, being right. And you got to start taking advantage of things that are being offered to you because... You know, I quickly tell people, hey, go to therapy. Hey, go get a coaching. Go to, get a coach. Go to therapy. You know, get a small group. Do something that's going to benefit you. You Be around like-minded people. I just had a conversation about that tonight. Being around like-minded people, it shifts your energy. It changes you. It, it helps you so much when you do that. Um, because when, and you want to be around like-minded people that are pushing you forward or pulling you forward, not people who like-minded and on a pity party, like-minded, I'm the victim, like-minded, it always me, or it ain't gonna never change, or it's just the way it's gonna be, just the way it was for my mama, gonna be for my, this the way it's gonna be for my grandma, the way it's gonna be for me, you gotta, you gotta be, you just gotta make up your mind that you don't want that life anymore, and so when you decide that that's not the life you want, then guess what, it's the life you're gonna get, you make the decision about changing your life, and it takes work, it's not always easy, but what is? What is? What have you ever attained or obtained or gained easily and you feel good about it? Like, what did you obtain? Nothing we've obtained or gained or, or, or mastered came easily. It was work. I don't care if you were degrees, getting to school, getting through high school, graduating college, marriage, children, <laughs> definitely children, Um just everything in life that we have gone to, everything you work hard for, you value it. You 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 take ownership of it. So take ownership of you, your life, your mind, your mouth, your thoughts, your ways. Take ownership. Be responsible for you. And do what you got to do. And you can't let other people dictate what works for you. You know what works for you. And, it, and some people are going to be disappointed. Some people are going to be let down. Some people are going to be mad. Okay, oh well, this is your life. I made a post the other day that says some at some point you just you just not mad no more. You just don't I just told somebody else I haven't spoken to in a while. I'm like, at some point you just just get over being mad. You don't being hurt, you don't being whatever. And you just forgive, release, and be free. That's what living your best life is all about. That's what being your best self is all about. So this is a real quick video. I just want to check in. Hope you had a great, wonderful holiday. Hope that you are, you know, looking for the good and everything. Hope that you're benefiting from, you know, what we do here on uh, with Tara Nicole and Make Some Eyes a Moment Coaching. Um, the group was open for ladies. Um, had a couple of setbacks, you know, some things personally, dealing with family things of that nature. But the group um, definitely is in full effect. I'll be going live in there. Um, this weekend to do a master master class and um, ladies join me if you when you click the link you also get a f uh, free mini affirmations journal or maybe the 10 keys to being unstuck so some free downloads get your freebies while you can let's get this party started 2018 isn't over don't give up don't throw in the town don't let go hey, keep asking keep believing keep seeking keep knocking keep walking keep talking but make sure it's all in alignment with where you want to go and where you want to be. Have a great and awesome night. It's Coach T. Here to empower, ignite, and uplift. You be blessed. Awesomely blessed. God bless you. Be safe. Rest well.